Today I'm dropping a sack of real cash in front of complete strangers. And whoever's honest and gives the money back to a Muslim, I'll give them the entire stack of cash. Red hoodie coming. Oh, subhanAllah. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate it. Why, why'd you stop me for this? Just drop your money. I know, but you, you could have just kept it quiet and taken it. I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. I'm not having a bad day. I don't know how. how I respect that. How your day's going, so. I needed know. this. I really needed this. I appreciate you, bro. How are you? You look like you're in your own mind. Are you all right? What's on your mind, bro? Oh, no, Come I'm here, man. Talk through. to me. Everything's good. Wow, you're going through a lot. Like what? What's happening? I just lost my, my aunt. She died. She lost her arm. She lost her arm. So, like, she's going through cancer and stuff, so. I just got what's, what, what, what's your name? Ishmael. Ishmael? Yes. Let me tell you something, my brother. You believe in the Creator, yes? yes? You believe in the Almighty Lord, right? Yes. Almighty God. Do you think that He is aware that you are in pain? Do you believe that He knows that? Yes or no? He knows you're he in pain. Sees he sees I everything, mean. right? So, I come over here, I drop some cash, and an honest servant of His comes and tells me that, hey, you dropped your cash, instead of just walking by it or taking it for themselves or just leaving me uh, hurt. Do you understand what I'm saying? And as a thank you for that, my brother, this is yours. No way. It's yours. That's yours. Why? Because you were honest. And you displayed the qualities that all human beings have. When God created us, He gave us this honesty meter in our heart. But because of our needs and our wants and our desires, we've forgotten our honesty. You, my brother, were honest, and God has given you a reward. It's something minor. God's reward is bigger than this. This is nothing. Do you understand? Nobody's ever done nothing like this. Man. No one. You got me shaking over here, like I'm nervous. It's nice to meet you. My name is SQ. SQ? Yeah, and I just want to say, may God bless you with more. And can I give you something, Brother Ishmael, more valuable than this? Because this is nothing. This, my brother Ishmael, is what you need. Do you know what this is? The Holy Quran. It's the Holy Quran. That's a gift from me to you, my brother. You see, when Allah knows that His servant is seeking and He wants, and He wants to learn, He wants to find out, He delivers the message to you. This is a gift from Allah to you, my friend. I'm a nobody. I'm just a messenger. Do you understand? It is Allah who chose you. Do you understand? And I pray that Allah continues to guide your heart. God bless you, my brother. Come here. Come here. I appreciate you. Of course, my brother. May Allah increase you and bless you. Okay? I appreciate you, brother Ishmael. Okay? God bless you, my brother. Have a beautiful day. I don't even know how to walk away. Like. You just walk away and you thank Allah. You just thank Allah. Say, Alhamdulillah. Allah, thank you. And that's it. You walk away. That's enough. And just ask Allah to guide you. That's it. Let's continue to ask Allah to guide you and help you and heal you, my brother. You're going to be just fine. Brother Ishmael, take thank care you. of yourself. God bless you. Take care. SQ. SQ. Yes. Nice to meet you, God brother. God bless you. So, oops, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, excuse me. Guys, thank you so much. Hold on, where are you going? Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Seriously, because people out here could just rob you. No problem. I appreciate that whatsoever. Thank you for your honesty. Where are you going? Why are you running away? Because we gotta go. You gotta go? Where are you going? Home. Home? Well, listen, don't go home without this stack of cash. That's yours. You for real? I'm for real. Like that? Alhamdulillah, this is yours. Oh, for real? Oh, hide it though, because you know we're out here. You know what I'm saying? What we're doing is we're doing an honesty social experiment. Whoever helps we a Muslim, on, you're on camera. We're on camera. We're on camera. Ah! <laughs> 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 Come back here. 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 We're doing an honesty social experiment to see uh, a Muslim dropping a stack of cash. Whoever helps a Muslim out and returns the cash, we're rewarding them for their honesty. So you guys did the right thing. You guys came and you were honest because look, you could have easily, quietly, I wouldn't have known, I would have kept on walking or someone right, could have. Right, right, and we've right. all lost money before. We know how it feels. Yes. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> we all know what it feels like, you know what I mean? On yeah, well you're in one now. You're definitely in one now. You're definitely in one now. And what we're doing is reminding people that honesty is a quality that God has given us. Do you understand? Honesty, honesty is something that God has given us, a quality. That's why when you're dishonest, you could feel it. You ever had to tell a lie and you feel it? Yeah. It's because God, whatever your religion is, it doesn't matter. It's because God has created human beings innocent and pure at heart. When they start destroying their purity, that's when things go different ways. You know, so you guys did the right thing. I appreciate you guys. Let me reward you with something more meaningful than that, okay? Here is a copy of the Quran. Have you ever heard of this book? Nah, but Look, it's shining it on your Bible? face. Yeah. It is the last and final testament sent to mankind. Through the last and final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
who was a messenger just like Jesus and Moses. This is the final book that was given to him. This is the verbatim word of God. It's never been changed, never been altered, only one version. My sister, this is also for you. This is for you. Like and guys, it's so yes, it's so shiny, right? <laughs> honesty is something that we need to have because guess what? One day you might be in a position where someone needs to be honest with you. You understand? And this might click in your mind that, hey, you never know. Because if my cameras are on, just know God's cameras are always on. Does that make sense? May Allah guide you to the truth and help you. But I appreciate you guys. Okay, guys, God bless you. Take care. God bless you. Okay, this family coming over here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? Oh, I dropped the money. No, no, no. What does that mean? Can you translate? She uh, said, your money. Yeah. Yes. Can you ask her why did she give it back to me? For me, I dropped it, right? So ask her why didn't she take it? Why? Because it's not yours. It's not yours? Well, it's not mine. It's hers. It's for her. No. It's hers. No. It's for you. No. It's for you. It's for you. It's a gift. That's a gift for her honesty. Huh? Why do you get her phone? Huh? I wanted to test to see if she was going to be honest. And you pass the test. It's a gift. As a thank you for being awesome, yes. And tell her it's a gift from God. Of course, only for God. We're doing a test. You can see my camera is right over there. This is a YouTube, it's a social experiment. You see there, wave to the camera, wave to the camera. Yeah, it's a gift. What is your name? Me? Oh, I'm a Muslim. Tell her I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. Put this away, put it. Muslim, Muslim, yeah. And there's a last final gift I want to give you. Final gift. This is a Spanish Quran. Spanish book. In Espanol, right? These are the word of God. Okay? This is the word. This is also a gift from me to you. That's a gift. Okay, bye guys. God bless you. Bye, God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, come here one second. Thank you so much. Wait, where are you going? I'm working over there. You work over there. Listen, I thank you for your honesty. No problem. I appreciate it. This, no, 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 <laughs> this. Who? For you. For me? For you. Yeah. For your honesty. No. Yes. You're cheating Yes, me. <laughs> no cheating me. You're cheating No me. cheating you. This is for your honesty. You see my sister, God, Dios, right? He yes. sees everything, right? Si. He saw that you were honest I and he rewarded you. you. you no. see, no, my sister, because I you're know. honest, you're honest. God loves honesty. That's something God loves. So my sister continued to be honest. Never ever lie, everything. everything. Because look, when we die, we have to meet him. You understand? Yeah. And he's gonna ask us about this, right? Look. I know, you I'm could, very honest. You very have to be. And this and is no, a reward from God. The big problem here, the big problem are the heart. Yes. The you said it. I it's know. the heart. It's the heart. I know here. For you know, me, my sister. I have so many people. It's very angry. My, my sister, you know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who's a messenger just like Jesus, is a messenger. He said, in the body, there's one piece of flesh that if it's good, all is good. And if it's bad, all is bad. See. He said the heart. I want to give you something more valuable than that, okay? This oh, is see. a Quran. It's in Spanish. Does it's that, is Spanish. that better? Yes, it's Spanish, right? In case you want Spanish, I have English also. But this is a gift from me to you. Because my sister, what God is going to do, He's going to reward you more. Do you understand? Don't cry, my sister. Just continue to thank God. Because He's the provider, not me. And this is guidance from Him. So ask God to guide you to the thank straight path. You. Look, have a beautiful day. Enjoy work and God bless you. As these unsuspecting people's honesty is tested, I'm reminded of this honest young boy who I met at a refugee camp in Yemen. To earn a living for his family, he sells cotton candy in the streets of Yemen. And for just $3, you could provide food security to him and hundreds of other kids just like him who don't know where their next meal is coming from. $3 feeds a family of seven. And trust me guys, 
they need it. So click the link down below and donate whatever you can and let's save the Ummah together. That's crazy. Lots of money. Oh I'm so it? sorry. Huh? Can we have it? Oh, it Serious? Fine. Serious? Were you honest with me? Yeah. Yeah, it was on the floor. I wasn't going to take it. That's yours as a gift. Thank you're lying. you. Is you're a YouTuber. 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 Are you a YouTuber? There is a YouTube video right over the baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys did the right thing. You guys did the right oh. thing. You guys did the right thing. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. That's tough. We're rewarding people for all of the honesty that's out here. You understand? People would easily just hustle took you, it, it, took it, bounce, quietly yeah. bounced. You get what I'm saying? But you guys are being honest. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. And that and we're here, out here reminding people of the true honesty. Because no, when God when God created that's us, crazy. he wants us to be honest. That's Do you understand? Crazy. Because you gotta remember something, my I brother. Have, I always wanted to be on one of these things. Listen, so you're I on it. Waiting. Say hi, you're I on it right waiting. now. No, you're listen, I did the right thing. I did the right thing. <laughs> listen, you did the right thing. Hey, listen. You did the right thing. See, because look, look, if I could test you, a human being could test you, right? Can God test you? Yes. You understand? If I can come up with the idea. Exactly. And this was a test for you guys, right? Because this was written for you. Whether you took it by stealing or took it by honesty, it was yours. But the test was, are you going to take it quietly or are you going to take it by just asking? Because when you ask for it, you don't really ask me, you ask God. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? And your honesty qualities is something that should be celebrated. So we're out here doing social experiments and we're just showing people that, look, there's a lot of honest people out here. And I want to reward you guys. This is a tiny reward from God, but this is no, nothing. Seriously. Money, look, money, we obviously appreciate it, but this yes, is a tiny reward yes. from God. God has something more valuable than money for you guys. Definitely. And I wanted to give you a more valuable gift if that's okay with you guys, okay? Yes. This is a Quran. This is a Quran. What do you know about this book? I don't know I nothing. Read a what is it? Bit. You read I'm a little bit. bit. You don't know much I'm about it. Wow. Well, my brother, let me tell you something. This, this entire instance that you just had, those qualities are located in this book. This is the last and final revelation given to the like Prophet this. Muhammad. Do you like understand? This. this is the last and final testament given to mankind. Just like the Bible has the Old Testament and the New Testament, this is the final testament given to mankind. So we're out over here promoting and teaching people about Islam, which is the final religion given to mankind which was the religion of Jesus it's the, and it's Moses. The original. It's the original. Most people don't even know that. You see, my sister? I don't. I don't. You see, from Abraham's time, they were always Muslim, my brother. Always. And Muslim means someone who submits their will to God. We believe Jesus is a messenger of God. He's a prophet of God. We do not believe God comes in human form. We do not believe God begets children. He doesn't have sexual relations, nothing like that. God doesn't get tired. He doesn't eat. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't have human type of qualities. The way he knows yes. human is through us you see he a, if God has made us that he knows us he doesn't have to come in human form so he could get to know us and understand us and feel our struggles no, no we, uh, not God not. has already made us and God is the provider but he is not provided for he is al ghani Allah says in the Quran Qul huwallahu ahad. say he is Allah one and alone Allah Samad. he doesn't have needs you understand yeah, yeah. he's self-sufficient Allah Samad. he is self-sufficient no, he seriously. feeds but he's not fed yeah, he provides, true. but he's not provided because he doesn't need. That's he doesn't right. have needs. You understand? Lam yalid. He does not beget. He does not have children. He does not need to get an heir to someone to inherit him and for him to have grandchildren. Yeah. He doesn't need any of that, right? Walam yulid. Nor was he born himself. Nor was he created. God doesn't do those types of things. Walam yakullahu kufu And there is nothing on like to him. If you think that God is a man, you've already got it wrong. Yeah. God can't be a man. Yeah. That's limiting God's capacity. Yes, it if is. God, if God is a human being, now you've limited him. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And God is unlimited. Yeah. So he sent Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, which is in this book, by the yes, way. It is. He is yes, in this book, yes. Is. And he sent Jesus as a messenger of like God. Do you understand what I'm saying? That. Guys, I appreciate you. My sister, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you guys, okay? Guys, thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. You know so many people could have just taken that from me? Yeah, but I couldn't. The heart, what I have, I couldn't. Your heart, you said, wouldn't allow you to? No. No? No. You said you couldn't sleep. No, I could not sleep. You, you know why? Yeah. Because your heart is golden. Yeah. You understand? Your heart is pure. Yeah. When God created you mm -hmm. and he created human beings, he gave us a purity in our heart. When you act on the purity, you do the right thing. Right. Because look, whatever is yours is meant to be yours. Do you understand? Including this. And I appreciate you being honest with me. Okay. Thank you so much for being honest. Take care. But before you go, this is a gift. 
Oh, is it a gift? That's for me to you. Thank you. That's a thank you. That's a thank you. No problem. No problem. Look, this is a gift for your honesty. That's a gift for your honesty. You understand? That's a gift for your honesty. And I want to, I want to give you something more value. Because you know why? When God saw you being honest, He loves that. God loves honesty. When you, look, this was meant to be yours. You could have quietly taken it or you could have just asked God and He would have given it to you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. So remember, stay with a pure heart. Yeah, Keep doing the right thing. Right. And I want to give you something more valuable than that. And that is a holy yes. Quran. Do you know what this is? You know. Yeah. Yes. My, yes. It's the it's the last scripture that was given to the Prophet Muhammad, who is a messenger just like Jesus. And of course, we're filming a social experiment right over there. So there. Thank you, thank you. But that's a gift from us to you. That's a gift. That's a gift. That's a gift. Okay, my sister. Take care. God bless you. How you doing? Walaikum salam. Thank you, brother. Jazakallah khair. Thank May Allah bless you. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you. Muslim, alhamdulillah. Where are you from? Mali. Mali. Oh, mashallah. I'm from Pakistan originally. What's your name, brother? Idris. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. Jazakallah khair, brother, for helping me with the money. May Allah increase you. You know, we we're on Fordham Road, Bronx. Someone could just take it, but you were honest. Alhamdulillah. Can I, can I just say something, my brother Idris? Sure. Sure. May Allah bless you and Thank increase you. you. This is a, a gift for me to you. That's for me? That's for you. For the sake of Allah. Thank you. That's a gift. God bless you. May Allah increase you. And you know what, my brother? May Allah increase yeah. you. And I want to let you know that SubhanAllah, Allah yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of providers. That's he is a razak. He is a razak. He is a pride. He used me to give this to you, but Allah connected two Muslims together. Wow. Alhamdulillah. Isn't that amazing? And because of that, one is not enough, my brother. This is the second one for you as well, too. No, this is it. You're a Muslim, my brother. Our honesty is equal to Jannah. The non-Muslims don't understand that, but when a Muslim is honest and he helps his brother in a difficult situation, do you understand? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the reward of that is better than itikaf in Masjid Nabawi for a whole month. Imagine, helping your brother in need is more rewarded by Allah than that, my brother. So, in case I pray that this could help you as well, my brother, of course, and help your family as well too, and you help me, so may Allah bless you. Thank you. Give me a hug. May Allah bless you. Yeah, you may Allah bless you. Thank you so much. You told me that I dropped the money. I appreciate your honesty. Appreciate it. You could have took it. And how much are you asking for? Five. Five? What if I gave you the whole thing? Here you go. That's for you. Come here. That's for you. That's for you. For, for being honest, bro. If we're in the Bronx, bro. You literally dropped my thing and then you said, hey, yo, you dropped your thing. You understand? You see, my Listen to me, my brother. When you ask, you ask for one dollar. That's what you ask for. But instead, Allah gave you a hundred. Do you understand? Because when you ask God, my brother, ask for more. Don't ask for little. Ask Allah for more. Do you understand what I'm saying? Allah is your creator. He's my creator. Do you understand? He knows what you're going through and He knows you needed that. So He didn't just leave you alone and not knowing what's going on. He knows that you have a need and He's taking care of His servant. You're His servant, my brother. You're God's servant. Don't forget that. No matter how far astray you go, don't forget that you are His servant. And remember something, brother. I want to give you something more valuable than that. I want to give you something more valuable than that, brother. This is a Quran. This is, this is the book and the words of God. Do you understand? He has not forgotten that you need help. He sent one of his servants to help you. Do you understand, my brother? You're a good person, man. Alhamdulillah. You are. You are. May Allah bless you. Why are you crying for my brother? Come in. Come in. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You understand? May God bless you. May He help you. And may He increase you. Okay? Come on. Come on. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. It's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay. May Allah increase you and bless you. Okay? We got your back. Always, okay? SubhanAllah. May Allah bless you, brother. There's these people, these people. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Where are you guys coming from? Getting some clothes? Good for you. Thank you for your honesty. Oh my God. Thank you. It's so easy. This I don't know if you ever lost money for. That's exactly how it happens. You know, you just take something out. That's why you have to be careful how you put your money. I'm gonna put this away. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. No, no. God bless you guys. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you. You know, like you, you guys restore hope in humanity by doing things like that. Thank you. Listen, just as a thank you. 
This is for no, you. No, please, please. No, 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 this is for you. No, no, please, thank you. What? That's for you, sister. Thank that's you. for you. It's a thank you for being honest. You see, honesty is a feature that's lost in our uh, world right now. Do you understand? Yeah. You being honest is restoring something that God has put in our hearts. God has instilled in our hearts honesty. That's why when you're dishonest, you feel it in your heart. It doesn't matter what your religion is. You understand? Yes. This is called in Arabic called the fitrah. This is when Allah, God Almighty, right, mm -hmm. has created human beings. He's given them a moral compass. And you guys got tested with the right type of test and you guys passed the test. You had a moral wow. compass. Someone could have either quietly just taken yes, it and walk exactly. away or wait till I go away and yep. just take it up, right? Or not even see it and I would just lose it. Mm -hmm. But you guys passed the test wow. and God is watching everything and wow. I appreciate that. And just know that your honesty is worth more than this. This is nothing wow. compared to your honesty that he's watching. Wow. And can, I, can I actually give you something more valuable than this? It's actually way more valuable. Do you know what this is? What is this? Yeah, have you ever heard of this before, my friend? Is that the Islamic Bible? Or yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is the last and final testament sent to mankind. You see, in Islam, we believe Jesus is a messenger of God. We believe yes, in Him. He is. Yes, we believe in Moses, Abraham, and all the prophets of God. Right. We understand that God sent Jesus, Moses, and all of them with revelations. Mm -hmm. Now, when Jesus, unfortunately, his time on this earth was very less because people were trying to kill him and hurt him and yes. harm him. So Jesus, that. peace and blessings be upon him, warned his people and they said, look, there's many things I want to say to you, but for ye cannot bear them now. For when he, the spirit of truth will come, he will set all matters aright. And he will not speak from himself, but he will speak from what the Father commands him to speak. And that for us is the Prophet Muhammad. This is a verbatim word of God, where God revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. So the Quran is a, final testament in a series of books that God always sent to mankind. Like the Bible is one of the books of God. The Torah is one of the books of God. This is the final uh, word of God. Never been changed, never been altered, ever. It's still preserved in the original language. So look, we're actually doing a social experiment right now. Take a look at my camera right there on the, on the uh, subway. Oh, you see that right? Okay. Wait to the camera, wait to the camera. Yeah. So we, we basically are doing a social experiment. And look, okay. if, if a human being could test you with honesty, can't God test us, right? He made us, right? So continue to be honest, continue okay. to call out to God, and continue to ask Him to guide you to the straight path. Thank my, you. my sister, my brother, oh, you. God bless you. you. Enjoy these Have clothes. Of course, of course, my sister, of course. Wow. And just remember, whatever clothes and everything that you have, just know there's people who don't have. Yeah. Trust me, I know. And I don't mind, again, if when I do, to share to give them. 100%. Because unfortunately, if they can't afford 100%. It, 100%. And look, though we have new clothes, there's people who don't. We're working with people in projects in places like Yemen, where two to three dollars for a day can feed a family of seven. That's true. You understand what I'm saying? And the clothes that we take for granted, they would love. Do you understand? So though you have new clothes, ask God Almighty to put blessings in it and ask Him to beautify your insides like He's beautified your outsides. You understand? God bless you, my brother, my sister. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Take care. God bless you too. You too. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.